In order for Vault Professional to map properties to an AutoCAD drawing file, especially custom properties, those properties must exist already on an AutoCAD file somewhere where the Vault can find them. So we're going to show you how to do that right now. Uh, we have a standard AutoCAD file opened up. It's got my Powell title block on it and this is just an empty template drawing that I use. It has no custom properties on it whatsoever. System properties are a little bit different. If the property already exists somewhere in the AutoCAD template file, Vault will find it. But for the, de the demonstrations of this revisions class, these properties do not exist, so we're going to show you how to create them right now. So in your AutoCAD editor, go to the File menu and scroll all the way down to Drawing Properties. Now this menu has several system properties already in it. In the Summary tab, there's Title and Subject and Author and Keywords, etc. And a few statistics sheet here that's got the date and time. But this is the one we're interested in, the Custom tab over here completely empty until you start adding things to it. It's just very simple to add these. You just add, type in the name, and off you go. So we're going to create four custom properties to use with our vault revision table. So first I want to have rev author, and I'm not going to give it a value at this point because that's not uh, necessary for the mapping process. The property just simply has to be there. So we'll hit OK, add, We'll do Rev Approved. Obviously, you can name these anything you want in your system. And we'll do Add Rev Text, Add Rev Date. And that's it. The properties exist now, so we're just going to say OK. And we're going to save the drawing. And that's it. Now Vault will be able to find this drawing as long as I leave it somewhere within the search paths of Vault. And as I do the mapping pro of properties in Vault, I'll simply tell it to look at the same property on this drawing and create the relationship. Always remember, mapping properties in Vault is a two-way street. The property has to exist both in Vault and on the file. So that concludes this part of the demonstration.